Welcome. This video shows how to create and execute a pipeline in the Pipeline Manager, a dedicated graphical user interface. We will work on the project created in the previous videos, whose raw data are available on the software's wiki page. We are going to create a pipeline aiming to compute maps representing permeability and blood volume inside the brain. This pipeline, composed of 10 modules, will be created and executed on one subject and will then be applied on all the subjects of our database. First, let's launch the pipeline manager, like this. Then, one can filter the database of our project by selecting the tag to filter, choosing the wanted values, and clicking on Add. Here, I only selected one subject, so the pipeline will be applied on the data of this subject. One can see that the database now contains only data relative to this subject. The blue lines represent row scans, and the pink ones represent the regions of interest. Let's begin our pipeline by a brain extraction. This module takes as input a scan and compute a region of interest. Selecting a module displays its parameters above and a description on the bottom right. Clicking on the parameter name allows to modify its value above. Here, I select the scan on which I want to compute the module, the scan T2. One can, of course, keep the default values proposed for the parameters. Then, one just needs to click on Add module to a pipeline. One can observe that a yellow line has appeared in the database. It represents a virtual image, an image that will be created but hasn't yet because the pipeline hasn't been executed yet. One can now select another module and fill up its inputs. Please notice that the virtual region of interest, output of the former module, can be selected as input for a new module. Once again, click on Add Module and repeat the operation to create a list of modules, in other words, a pipeline. Some modules take several input scans or the created several output scans. Each one has its own behavior. Once a pipeline is designed, one can save it by clicking on Save and by typing its name. One can then execute the pipeline by clicking on this button. The MATLAB command window is filling up with information about the execution. Once the pipeline is done, one can go back to the viewer and open the resulting scans. In the Pipeline Manager, new lines in green have been added to the database. It represents derived scans, obtained 
thanks to the pipeline execution in MP3. Now, let's apply the pipeline we just created to the whole database of our project. Click on All Database to remove all the previous filters. And load the previously saved pipeline by clicking on Load. After a while, depending on the sizes of the database and the pipeline, the module's names are displayed in a range. Clicking on one of the modules displays on the right a list of the jobs created. A job is an instance of a module. Here, there are six jobs because the module, applied on the whole database, can be executed six times. Indeed, this module takes a T2 scan as input and there is C T2 scans in our database. One job is arranged because the output region of interest already exists. It was created during the former execution. The other jobs are in green because their output don't exist yet. When executing this pipeline, one can choose to overwrite those existing files or to remove the jobs previously executed. Here, I chose to remove those jobs. Then, the remaining 50 jobs are about to be executed. Once again, one can display the resulting scans. Now, let's create another pipeline in order to compute statistics and quality control of our project. I select a module aimed to compute the mean and the standard deviation inside regions of interest, and another aimed to create an HTML quality control report of the scans and the regions of interest. The execution is done, and one can find the resulting files in the project folder. Here, a CSV file represents the mean and standard deviation of a scan in our two regions of interest for each session. One can observe that the intensity of the T2 scan is globally higher in the tumor than in the contralateral tissue. The HTML report allows to easily check the scans of a database and the position of regions of interest. MP3 also provides an option, called File History, to display all the modules executed to compute the loaded scan along with their parameters or even their execution date. One can then remember how and when a scan was computed, and we believe this is a key feature to assure the reproducibility of analysis and results. Thanks for watching! See you in the next video to improve your MP3 utilization!